after a loving husband and father is killed in a senseless shooting last week. Today, Prince George's County Police announced that they made an arrest in the case. Abdul Ralph Khan was shot and killed Saturday on Dunlap Street in the Hillcrest Heights neighborhood while he was working as a rideshare driver. News Force Pat Collins reports that a teenager has been charged in the case. He just put my life upside down. I don't know what to do because, because he was the pillar of our life. And now my daughter and my life is over. And when I told her that I'm coming here, she said, just ask one question. Did my dad call my name when the guy shot him? His murder was senseless, another senseless act of violence. And the person now in custody for that crime is only 17 years old. It happened last Saturday on this cul-de-sac in Hillcrest Heights. Abdul Raf Khan shot, his car stolen. The 71-year-old Lyft driver left in the street to die. He had just brought a fare from D.C. to Prince George's County when it all went down. His family most upset by the cold-blooded murder. His nephew calling for tougher penalties for juveniles. All we care about is justice being served. And there should be harsh punishment for these youngsters who are doing this thing because if there's no consequences, they would keep on doing it. Strong words today from County Executive Angela Also Brooks. It's unsafe for us to release, to continue to release violent offenders into our communities who have not been rehabilitated. And that is what has to happen, is that they have to be held accountable. Police say it took some time to identify Mr. Khan because they found no IDs on the scene. In the meantime, his family in Virginia had reported him missing. Now, back in 2018, Mr. Khan was called a hero and received a commendation from the Alexandria Police Department. You see, he jumped out of his car to rescue a policewoman who was being attacked by a man with a pipe. The chief says the 17-year-old confessed to the murder. He's being charged as an adult. But they're not releasing his name. They're not releasing his picture because they say this case could still end up in juvenile court. I'm Pat Collins, News 4.